Hey everybody, my name is Colton, I run WizThrift, and I'm here today with one of my friends, Harley. Could you give yourself an introduction? Hi, my name is Harley, or Harley Kane. Uh, you can find me everywhere on the internet at Harley Hero, and I am a TTRPG player, cosplayer, content creator, I do all sorts of fun things, so yeah, here, here I am. She, she does some really awesome stuff, and I mean, most people probably know, but what's your favorite cosplay to do? Uh, Catwoman, for yeah. sure. Yep. <laughs> yeah. No, you, you, you do a very good Catwoman, very convincing. Uh, oh, thank you. Ha have you. Have you found yourself a Batman yet? I, you know, I have not found myself a Batman yet. There are some amazing Batman cosplayers um, that I would love to work with sometime, mm -hmm. but no, I have not. But definitely need to. I needed to get some Batman yeah. Catwoman cosplay shoots happening. Yeah. So. Wait a second. What chair do you have? What chair? Okay, we we ha we have similar chairs. Mine, oh, I get you can't see it, but we it's black and white, and so I was just like, oh, maybe we have the same chairs. No. Oh okay. man. <laughs> Darn it. Oh. Okay. Anyway, so my first question to you. We've already done this before, but we're redoing this because it's gonna be better this time. But who who is Harley? Like, who are you? Well, that's a question. Um, yeah. I am a big dork. That is what I am. Okay. I am a I am a dork and a nerd, and I like to tell stories. I like to be a part of stories. Mm. Um, I like to dress up. I think um, the world is what you make it, right? So why not make it yeah. magical and fun and interesting? And uh, yeah, I think the best way to do that is through dressing up and yeah. playing games and I get to do that pretty much all day long and that's amazing so I yeah that's I that's what I I would say who I am and uh, I've gotten into this crazy life of putting content out on the internet so I do that a lot uh, yeah that's that's what I would say that's awesome what what got you into storytelling what 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 makes you love it so much I think, uh, like, the oldest human tradition is telling stories, right? Yeah. It really is what makes us who we are. And mm -hmm. have you ever read a book or played a video game or whatever? And at least the once, character, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? Um, or I mean, what? You know, it could have been a video game or a TTRPG or whatever. Yeah. And the character you played or the character you read about inspired you so much that you were like, I want to be that. Like, it just, like, you get that feeling where you're like, oh, my God, that's what I want to be like. I, And you kind of, like, start to, like, think about how that character would act or how that influences you. I'm definitely that kind of person where I'll read a book or, you know, play a game or whatever. And I'm like, wow, that's an amazing character. I want to be more like that. And I yeah. think that's what initially got me into storytelling. Um, also, like I said, um, I mean, honestly, escapism, like... Yeah. creating the world that you want to create and why not make it magical and books and fantasy and storytelling helps you i think see the world in a more magical way no i i definitely agree uh i i really really agree especially with the seeing a character playing a character reading about a character and, and wanting to be them um, I, I know you have this interest with Brandon Sanderson and his books, but he does such a good job, you know, of taking these fantasy worlds and making these these realistic characters that have these flaws that actually like connect to real life and stuff. And so, yeah, I, th those fantasy books, really anything like that, is 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 just fantastic. And aside from the escapism, I, I think it really helps teach us about life, you know. And oh yeah, I've I've learned a lot of skills through role-playing games and, and just just talking to people like that and so yeah I, I i definitely agree with you there i think too it helps you like kind of like what you're saying like learn more about your identity and kind of mm -hmm. who you are and having a better sense of self i think yeah. helps you make more informed decisions kind of like how you want to treat people and how you want to yeah. be seen by others and i think that's super important it's kind of like exploring yourself and your place in the world and yeah. uh perspective other people's perspective, empathy, seeing the world through somebody else's eyes, I think helps with that. Yeah. I, I think as either a dungeon master or just a player, whatever game you're playing, stepping into other people, I think it gives you that that empathy. I think you really start to learn about that um, because you're you're being someone else other than yourself. You, you may put part of yourself into 
that character or that person, but you are, you know, a different person at that point. Yep. Uh, Brandon Sanderson at his book release at the little convention I just went to said, books are empathy machines. And I agree with that. So, yeah, no, I, I love his philosophies. I'm sure you've listened to his lectures, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. And they're, they're useful for anybody, whether they're a dungeon master or an author or whatever. Um, but there, he does it. Yeah. Does a really good job of, of so many different types of people. And I, I think that's something that all role players, dungeon masters need to learn is how do I see from all these different points of view? So, yeah, I think it makes you a better person to be honest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I, I've, one thing that I've learned, um, we were just talking about bet- uh, the difference between like Twitter and Instagram and like meeting people and stuff, but pretty much everybody I've talked to has said yes to an interview or to, to at least talk just because I feel like the, the TTRPG community is just so open and so supportive. Like they, they want to gush and talk about each other and this, this hobby that we have. And I, I just think it's, it's so cool that, um, you know, there obviously are some jerks and gatekeepers and perverts and weirdos and whatnot, but it's, it's a very good community where you're able to learn it and connect with people. Oh, absolutely. I've been so impressed with just how amazing the community is and the creators and uh, the people that inter- like that we interact with and everything like that. Everybody just wants to tell a cool story yeah, and be themselves. And I think it's like the realization, hey, we're all just a bunch of nerds and we're trying to have fun. And yeah. it's really cool. It's really, really cool. For sure. Well, I mean, talking about all this role-playing stuff, how did you get started in role-playing games? Um, so I, okay. Okay, gotta, gotta go, go, go back a little. Go okay, to, okay. You know, backtrack to uh, yeah. Child and stuff. So I actually did not start playing Dungeons & Dragons. So Dungeons & Dragons is my first TTRPG. Yeah. Um, I did not start playing until I was an adult about a, a little over a year ago. But that's because okay. so I've been a, a nerd my whole life, okay? Super into nerdy things, fantasy books, Star Wars, superheroes, comics, all that stuff. And yeah. But I remember growing up, there was one group of guys that played Dungeons & Dragons. I had heard of it, okay? But girls were not allowed to play. There was no way I could have played. So, um, when I was in college, I got really into board games, um, like modern board games. Yeah. Um, and the board game community, it's like, I mean, tabletop role-playing games are a part of that, you know? There's kind of like, so there's like the modern board game side, the, the card drafting magic side, and then tabletop role playing games. So I'd always kind of like seen it and been like, oh my God, I want to play, but didn't super have the opportunity until last year um, during the pandemic when a friend of mine was like, hey, I play in a group that does one shots every once in a while. I will help you make your character. Do you want to play? And I was like, well, okay, yeah, I do. Yeah. And, uh, I was so nervous. I literally did not speak. I think I spoke twice during the whole <laughs> session. Yeah. Because I was like, I don't know what to say. I don't know what I'm doing. I didn't even come up with a name for my character until oh, later. Oh, like, Again, I was so nervous. Yeah. But it was kind of like one of those things where I just had to jump in and do it, even though it was so bad. And I've been uh, pretty, I've been obsessed ever since. So. Yeah. I, I mean, I can tell. You, you. Like you were just talking about that celebrity game that you were a part of and all this stuff. You seem like you've kind of, it's kind of become your life at this point. It, it seems like it's a its a big part of your life. Yeah. yeah, I guess my obsessive personality just like really took a hold of this. And uh, yeah. yeah, I would say it's my life for sure. I am constantly thinking about new characters, games that I want to I wanna run mm-hmm. or play in. Yeah. yeah, that's really awesome. So... It, like the celebrity game that you, you talked about that we mentioned, who did you play with in that game? Yeah, so I played in um, a game this past weekend with World Builders, which is associated with Patrick Rothfuss. Oh, okay. um, Patrick Rothfuss is an, a fantasy author who wrote Name of the Wind and Wise Man's Fear, so the King Killer Chronicles. Um, it was uh, DM'd by B. Dave Walters, and I got to play with Brendan Lee Mulligan, Abria, um, Jim Zub, and Sage Ryan. And Pat was also a player. Oh, so. yeah. yeah. Dang. Well, okay. So, I mean, th- these are, it seems like we're able to connect with these creators so much more now than ever before. Than with like, you know, the, our world is so small. But what, what was it like meeting these people? What was it like playing with them and, and getting into a game with them? When we, we see them as kind of like, you know, these like up on a, up on a pedestal people. Oh yeah, they're like the gods of the TTFP <laughs> space. I would yeah, say that. Yeah. They are the, 
the patrons for sure. Mm -hmm. um, uh, they're all in so incredibly nice. Yeah. So like, I know people say this about celebrities all the time, and they're just people, but like, uh, they're very, very kind, amazing people mm -hmm. who really want everybody that they play with to be successful. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit nervous when I uh, first kind of jumped into the game. I mean, duh, right? Um, yeah. Abria was so very good about interacting with my character and like kind of initiating role play. I don't know if she could tell I was nervous, but um, and I met Abria before uh, this past okay. summer, and so uh, yeah, just I was just so impressed and amazed at how like willing and nice they they were to like really engage with uh, in role playing with everybody and kind of make sure everybody had a good time. Um, I mean, but they're professionals. So this is what they do. And yeah. so, uh, yeah, I was just, I was so thoroughly impressed. Uh, it was incredible. And they're really funny. And I just, I was so impressed too about how they just could come up with stuff so quick. Like, yeah. I'm like, damn, like you just are so, <laughs> like not even a breath and they just come up with like a good line. And I'm like, yeah, I need to hone that skill, you know? Yeah, no, it's, I mean, just like, just friendly Mulligan. If you see any of his stuff on College Humor, um, or just any, he, if you look up any of his stand up stuff, he is just like, he's so good. He's so quick. He's so fast. Like, and it, it, like, it is a skill you can improve on, but some people are just born funny. Like, it's, it's oh, just, yeah. just how it is. So, I, yeah, that is definitely Brendan Lee Mulligan. Like, yeah. watching him in action was so, like, my screen was right next to his, and I'm just yeah. like, Half of me was like just in awe, and the other half of me is like, "Well, shit, I gotta play. I gotta, yeah, I gotta yeah, focus yeah. on my character." You know, but the other half of me is like, "I get to just like real time. My screen yeah. is right now here. Get to see these people. Get to interact with them. It was amazing." Dang, no, that that really is fantastic. And I I've met a I've met a few like celebrities and stuff, and and like you said, and while everybody says they are just people, they just have a different skill set and different job than the regular person who does nine to five. Um, but, but it is always fun meeting people like that because they're just, they're so cool. Like they just, Oh yeah. I fangirled. Yeah. So oh, hard. Yeah. What, what, what was mean... it like? Well, what was it like when, when you got invited to that? Like what, like when you got the, the message or invited to the group or whatever? Yeah. So, uh, B. Dave Walters reached out to me and has asked if I would be a part of it. And it was very surreal. I was just like, are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. You know, and I'm like, try not to, I would never say no, okay, yeah, yeah. ever. But it was just like a, wow, okay, okay. Yeah. Again, it didn't feel real even while it was happening. And I yeah. took like pictures on my phone, like sneakily, <laughs> like, okay, this is real, this is happening. So I could like remember for later. Yeah, yeah. Like I have proof more than just like the, I mean, it's gonna be on YouTube later. But yeah. I, I'm like, I have proof that during the thing, I was taking pictures. <laughs> not not, not the whole time I was. I yeah, was very well, professional. The whole time you're just like... <laughs> oh my god, literally. <laughs> like, my phone is just right here like, I'm not even playing. I'm just going to take pictures. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, that That is really cool, though. I, it's it, it's a really cool opportunity. So that's good. Good job. Good job. You, you, Thank you've you. made it. You did it. I know, right? I can die happy now. <laughs> I'm good to go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just take me now. No, there's, there's more. The... Yeah, there, there's more you gotta do. There's more you gotta do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We got part two. We have another game coming up. Oh, so. shoot. You're gonna hang out with them even more? Man. Yeah, so it was for World Builders and their, their mm -hmm. charity game, raising funds for Heifer, which is a Heifer International. Um, they, like, not only, like, do they help out, um, less fortunate and uh families in lower economic situations but they mm. basically give them um opportunities to like create like basically more than just giving them stuff they give them opportunities to create mm. businesses oh. and and money for them and everything like that so we were raising money for heifer international super amazing charity and we one of our goals was that hey if we reach this amount of money we'll play a part two and we hit it so i get to play with wow. them again Congratulations! Yeah. Like that. I mean, obviously, it's fantastic to be able to play with these people, but but also just doing something good with it, I think, is is really the 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 amazing part. Because um, I, I think that's that's kind of the goal, you know, be able to play this game that we love and make friends with each other, but also to to help others and and to improve ourselves and other people as well. Oh, absolutely! Patrick Rothfuss is um, he is so cool, and I'm a big fan of his books. 
but uh, he was so i mean he's so passionate about it he's yeah. so passionate about using like his platform and everything to do as much good as he can and it was yeah. very impressive that's really awesome so i mean you you're not i'm sorry this is an insult all. you're not on their status you know that that's whatever I'm that's so, what I'm you sorry, say i'm sorry to tell you but no um but you, you you do have a platform though, and and what are I guess what are some of your goals when it comes to uh, what you want to accomplish with with your with your platform from now until like in the future? Like, do you have any of those goals? Yeah, so I definitely want to keep doing what I'm doing. I want to play yeah. more games. Um, I want to basically my my idea my goal is to create a space that is safe for people to feel. Hmm nerdy and um yeah. like an adult space for yeah. uh people to feel like they can be passionate and freak out and nerdy and dorky about the things that they love because uh, yeah. that's what i do and um a lot of people i mean are aware that a lot of my content also you know i joke about some, like sexual things and kink things and things like that because i'm trying to make it a safe and real space for people to be able to talk about those things yeah and so, sure. and I, uh, and I just like to kind of mix all the things that I like together. And so just, a, you know, a, a nerd that likes to, uh, talk about sex too. So yeah, yeah. no, that's awesome. And I mean, you, and like that, that is a lot of your content, but I think the funniest thing is when I asked you like, who are you? You didn't mention all that stuff. You're like, I'm a dork. And I, th I think that's really cool. Like when it comes down to it, you're a dork. You're a nerd. You you just want to play games and have fun with people, but you also have this other side that you want to normalize and make people feel comfortable. And I think that's really cool. I, I think that's that you like that you do some really awesome content that that is just it, it has a lot of value to it. Oh, thank you so much. I yeah. I think it's fun to be relatable. I try. Yeah. I I think. Um, realizing that we're more connected than we sometimes think we are is sometimes very comforting yeah so you think i could cosplay as catwoman because you oh, want to be relatable okay, okay absolutely I'll, i i mean i would pay to see that okay i'll, I'll work on it that that's okay, my, next, okay. my next big project we is, need okay but we need to do it together okay so oh, okay. finish your cosplay okay. we'll do like a little twinning okay. shoot okay get sent sent you gotta send me like all the important information of like how, where to get the best stuff how I can make my own like like cowl and all that stuff. So. Oh, I got you. I got you. Okay, good. We'll do. Right, well, right. it'll be good. It'll be really good. Everybody, keep an eye out. It's gonna be really hot. Yeah. And and, and I mean, I don't have breasts, so I can just like, you know, pull all. Oh, the that's way down easy. I got you. <laughs> we can. I mean, we can use makeup. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. It's it. Yeah. That, that's 20, 2022 is my year of cosplay. That's, oh that's yeah. My, yeah. There we go. I'm so excited. Um. <laughs> Uh, well, Harley, one of my last questions for you is, you know, other than D and D, what what is your favorite role playing game? Um, I'm a really big fan of Vampire the Masquerade. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the one I've played probably um, the most, besides D and D. Yeah. Um, I am learning new systems right now, but yeah, I would say, definitely say Vampire the Masquerade for all my yeah. uh, family out there. Hello, yeah. I play the Ministry uh, usually. But I'm learning, I mean, there's so many cool systems out there. Yeah. Right now I'm learning Blades in the Dark, uh, which is kind of like a crew heist um, yes. TTRPG. Um, yeah, any, I, I will play anything. I think D&D, like I said, I play it the most because that's what I know. That's what I yeah. first started playing. But man, there are some amazing systems out there. So Yeah, no, that's awesome. Have you ever played Call of Cthulhu? No, but I've heard, okay, I've heard that it's very much up my alley. It's. I need. It is so cool. It is, it is super cool. How, do you like feeling? Cloud. Do you like feeling insane and just like the world around you is just falling apart? But you know, not in real life, but in the game. I, I was gonna say, my everyday life. <laughs> <laughs> um. uh, but you actually have some kind of some control. No, it, it was it was actually what I started playing when I started into role playing games was Call of Cthulhu, and it's so fun because it is just like, it's very heavily role play. It, there's not much combat because you're a regular human and you will probably die if you get into any combat. Um, but it is just, it's a, it's a really fun system. Uh, the madness to it is, is really cool. And if you have a good dungeon master or a, a, a keeper, I forget what they're called, but if you have a good uh, 
storyteller who's running the game, then it's it's unlike anything else. Let's play in a game together, okay? Let's do it. Call of Cthulhu. Let's, okay, yeah. cool, cool, oh, yeah. cool. We'll we'll set it up. I'll I'll uh, I'll I'll, uh, I'll be the dungeon master. Okay, cool, cool. That'll yeah. be fun. I'll help you with Catwoman cosplay. You'll help me with Call of Cthulhu. Okay. Yeah. You you get some people. Get you know call up Brandon and Abria and uh, and, and Pat Rothfuss and we'll we'll set it up. Oh yeah, yeah. You know I yeah. got you. I'll just you know <laughs> yeah. I'll just, whatever. I'm sure they're no, but, not busy. No, yeah. But for real, let's 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 play some Call of Cthulhu because it's yeah, that'd be it's awesome. A super fun game. So. Awesome. Yeah. Well, Harley, thank you so much for, for coming on here and, and talking to me and, and just gushing about all these things that we love. I, I, I really appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Anytime. I appreciate you having me. Yeah, for sure. Well, guys, thank you so much. Oh, Harley, is there anything you want to shout out? Uh, anything you want to plug? All that stuff? Um, just follow me uh, at Harley Hero. I'm going to start doing some stuff on Twitch, including a book club where we'll talk about all of our favorite fantasy and sci-fi books. And uh, I am hoping to get in. I'm hoping to get into DMing next year. I have a lot yes. more one shots and c charity games and all sorts of yeah. things coming up next year. So just follow me on the socials. Um, I've got some really cool things planned. Good, good. That's awesome. No, I actually I saw that you you like the Wheel of Time. Have you been watching the new show? Okay, I have not watched it yet because I've okay. heard such okay. mixed reviews. But it, we're reading Wheel of Time. That's the first book we'll read. Oh yeah. Club, so. The first episode is a little slow, but after that, it's really good. That that's that's my opinion. Uh, okay, okay. So I, I would say start reading or start watching. It, it's pretty good. It's pretty. Okay, good. I'll, I'll I'll watch it and then I'll let you know what I think. Okay, for sure. Okay, guys, cool. thank you so much. We'll see you next time and have a great day.